The reason why relationships and marriages do not work today is because we pay more attention to our phones than our partners. We can no longer fight for love because people are now so easy to replace. That is what went wrong. Love is everywhere. But a lot of you do not even understand the true definition of love. Love is communications. So sometimes when I step out and see young people hanging out and everybody is fiddling with their phones, I'm like, why did you guys come out at the first place? Was it not to bond? Was it not to discuss? Was it not to talk? They are eating, they are pressing their phone. They are in a tata, they are pressing their phone. Nobody is even talking. You brought somebody out, but the person is not talking to you. That's the reason why I barely go out. How do you build friendship without communication? You are always on your phone. What are you even doing on your phone? Nothing. You are just scrolling up, down, scrolling up, down, looking for negative gist, looking for twerk, twerk, twerk. The one that this lover will come and lie that somebody slept with somebody's husband. You're looking for bad news to feel good about yourself. You can't even pay attention to your own relationship. Every day on the internet, you read about people's breakup. Those people were once like you. They were once laughing like you. They were once saying, God forbid, if I, my marriage will work in Jesus' name. Few years ago, they were sounding like you. They did not pay attention. Today, they are out of the marriage. So you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention. This love, 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 all of you people are carrying on your head. When this love come, I don't think you'll be able to face it. Can you give your partner a little bit of attention and leave your phone alone? What are you doing with the phone? You are replying to your customers. The customers should wait. Even in banks, they close. Once it's 4 p.m., 5 p.m., they shut their gates. You are supposed to rest till the next day. You're not a jackie. What are you doing on Instagram? What productive thing are you doing on social media? Only so nothing. You just open different fake accounts and be insulting people. Yes, I'm talking to you. I they fear your face. That's the reason why your relationship is not working. You pay so much attention to irrelevant things. You never make your own relationship work finish. You won't come to give another person advice. You'll be a relationship therapist. You won't collect our work. Go and fix your relationship and your marriage first before you come out to come and advise, uh, advise people. Go and get something doing. Let me tell you something. The grass looks greener from the other side. But don't forget, it is someone that is mowing that lawn. Somebody that is trimming it and keeping it clean, watering it every day. That's grass that you admire. Ah, see how that grass fine. Now, person take time, put them like that. So if you want your relationship and your marriage to work, I think it's high time we begin to drop our phones. I have to make it a habit. If I go out with my man, I don't touch my phones. I barely even take pictures when I'm out. I focus on him. I boo is the food. We talk, we interact. We don't touch our phones. The only time we get to press our phones is probably when we want to sleep. Good night, good night. You know, you just feel it through your phones. What happens to communication? Hi. Hello. Sup. And you say you are in love? You guys are not serious. You better sit up. If you want to do the relationship, do relationship. If you have other things distracting you on your phone, are you in a relationship? Focus on that thing. Now, when you are done with that thing, you cannot come in relationship. My problem is that you always want to eat your cake and have it. You always want to think that you can do this and do that, and it makes you smart. It doesn't make you smart, my darling. It makes you foolish. Because you're going to lose from both ends. Especially when you are in your 30s. There are some young people that used to do these things. I, I will, but when you are in your 30s and you're acting like an idiot, I'll be wondering what's wrong with this one. Drop your phones and begin to communicate in your relationship. The devil is not your problem. The problem is that you refuse to talk. All those talk, 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 talk with you, they talk for Insta blog, they talk for Jesus lover. Talk to your partner. Communicate with your partner. 
entertain your partner, vice versa. Not to sit down every day and be reading unproductive stuff on blogs. A lot of people have used this phone, the same phone, to make so much money. This same phone that you are pressing every time. Some people are making millions out of it. I said, let me tell all the phone pressers that are always going out, hanging out and pressing the phone. If I go out any day and I catch you pressing your phone and we collect it and I will break it. I don't, I don't, I don't care who you are, call police. Now, what's inside the phone? My dear, face your boyfriend. Face your boyfriend. I go carry woman, man, woman, come out. Or man, go there with you, go there, press, press phone. They swear for you and phone. For when you press from house, come. You press and reach here. You go still press and for night again. Chief, let's have a conversation and get to know each other. Okay? You know I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I don't slap you.